Dakota is no small state. Now, think about running across it. That's exactly what 12 runners will be doing in September to raise money for the Helpline Center. In tonight's Eye on Coverland, Dan Santella introduces us to three of the team members who will soon embark upon 437 Project. Every runner can explain how they became hooked. I got started running when I was in college. Um, I was really inspired by my mom who 30 years older than me was still running at the time. And um, I kind of caught the bug at that time. I started running because my now husband was training for his first marathon and that quickly spiraled into him becoming a non-runner and me becoming the runner in our family. You get to get alone in your thoughts a little bit. You get some exercise, you get some endorphins, you sweat a little bit. And all of a sudden that big, hairy, scary problem maybe doesn't sound as bad after you go for a run. Kelly Marshall, John Meyer, and Rochelle Sweetman, all of Sioux Falls, are three of the 12 members of the 437 Project that will run across the whole state of South Dakota in September to raise money for the Helpline Center. I think I initially started running mostly for physical reasons, and especially the older I've gotten and the more I've gotten on my plate, I've started to run probably increasingly for mental health wellness as much as physical. The dozen will complete the 437-mile journey as a relay, with runners taking turns completing segments that measure roughly 10 miles. To see the, the beauty of our state and to run at odd times of the day, and I love the challenge, just the visual challenge of going from end to end. It's the project's second year. Each runner is responsible for approximately 40 miles over the course of three or so days, and that's a lot of mileage. <laughs> So the mileage is definitely intimidating. They're not novices. Sweetman, Marshall, and Meyer have each completed at least one marathon. I try to run maybe three times a week. Uh, currently amping up here with 437 Project on the horizon. I usually run five days a week minimum, sometimes six or seven. I run every day right now. Um, I'm actually on a running streak, so I'm at somewhere around 615 days in a row of running. Marshall is an occupational therapist, Sweetman is a risk management consultant, and Meyer is director of a nonprofit. In September, they'll come together in an activity that highlights and enriches the individual. I think running has kind of the unique place that you can truly go out and clear your mind if you want to. I think I have really seen personally the benefit of um, physical fitness impacting my mental fitness. You can really shut off everything else if that's what you choose to do. Or you can use it as an escape, right? And listen to a podcast or a book or music and just take that time to focus on things other than all of the busyness of daily life. The Helpline Center connects people across the state with mental health resources. The 437 Project will reach from the state's border with Wyoming to its border with Iowa. There's a lot to take in. I love running in rural South Dakota. So I'm really excited to see the state from my feet. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. And Dan will have more stories from the 437 Project in September. He'll be following along as they make their way across the state.